Hey guys, so before we start the video, I have put a freelance services link that I provide in the description of this video and you can basically go and check them out. So let's start. Hey guys, so today I'm going to share a new kind of video and it is my daily income report. And in this income report, I will share all my income sources. And uh, yeah, so let's start. So let's just start with our very first one. It is blog and banner ads. Now, if you guys don't know, let's just start with blog and banner ads. Now, with blog and banner ads, the one thing currently I cannot do is I cannot share my blog because it's niche. I have to protect my niche in the beginning. But once I achieve a certain income goal which I will tell you just hold on one second let's just uh, go back to my report right now I'm not making enough to basically share and uh, I have just started this so as it grows and I achieve a certain level of income I will definitely share with you guys what kind of niche it is but uh, for clue purpose I can tell you it is in the niche of news and current affairs and it's an opinion blog and i use facebook as my traffic source but uh, there are many people who are doing this it's not uh, very uncommon uh, and okay so i have written three posts 1200 words each and uh, currently i have written about different topics as for from what i remember it is in health today because it's a news website, let me just tell you a little bit of structure about news websites. So, news websites are very, very, you know, very difficult to rank. As uh, with time, there are many mainstream websites are there and, if, if, and authority sites. So, if you know, authority sites are basically whichever country whichever location you are from there must be some authority sites which basically dominate the ranking so it is very necessary to understand the process of uh, basically getting traffic to these websites but news websites are highly profitable and i will be sharing some case studies and stuff in the future so let's just go to the next one and for banner ads currently let's let me just tell you what i use for banner ads now i don't know if i have shared but i use ezoic but i have stopped using ezoic just it is very important for everyone to understand that ezoic is nothing wrong with using ezoic but uh, it slows down the website sometimes and it has huge huge impact on the ranking of websites so if you want to use ezoic just make sure that you have very good service which i currently don't have and as you can see for the roi from my blogs are very less so as they increase i will get better service so for banner ads i'm using a different kind of a strategy for banners my i'm using banners from a website which i'm working as an affiliate for and i use their banner and put it on my websites and it is necessary to understand the process but uh, i will be sharing my process how i basically create banners for affiliate websites that i'm working with if, even if they don't provide me the banners uh, but most websites do uh, so i will be sharing in the future let's just go to the next one it's dnp product sales now dnp this product sale d stands for digital and the p stands for physical so i do both and i will be talking about both of them this is dnp digital and physical now this is not necessarily just product but also services but as you can see freelance work also considered a service so i have divided both of them but uh, digital and physical products i have certain products that i sell in the digital and physical niche but currently i am focusing more on digital products because the margins are very high i will be sharing in the future what kind of physical digital products i currently share sell but uh, for right now i will tell you what are the, what are the products it is printables printable wall art to be very specific printable wall art 
So printable wall art are very common and you can do a simple Google search. Hold on, let me just go to this one and uh, all right. So let just let me just show you how printable wall art looks. So printable wall art. Okay. So printable wall art is basically this is how they look. They are basically simple wall arts. Just the thing is that uh, wherever you are, so the most dominant one you can find on Etsy and stuff. I will be sharing how to create printable wall art. Do, no worries. In the next video, I will be sharing with you guys. And uh, there are other things that people do. They do, you know, they do some sort of planners and stuff, which I'm not at all good at right now. I don't know how to create them properly or even not necessarily properly but uh, not something that i want to be uh, you know in competition with the people who are already dominating that niche as uh, you guys may or may not know in etsy there is very good you know uh, very good amount of competition in that that niche but uh, digital products are really good because of the margins and i got like four sales on the digital front and it's 59.76 all right so for digital these are just digital prints and uh, the same digital prints i use for pod also but in pod mostly i get my sales through a particular product and it is hoodies and, uh, i love selling hoodies and uh, i think customers are liking those that particular product too i use printfy for my hoodies printfy so I will be sharing how I create my hoodie designs and how I upload them on my website. But there are many tutorials available already online. But uh, I'll be sharing just uh, so you guys can know my process. But uh, yeah, for digital products, I use Canva and Adobe Spark. I will be sharing with Adobe how I create my products. Today is just for the income report, and uh, so we will. I can basically tell you guys what are the income sources I currently have, and uh, I will try to expand it. So let's just go to the next one. And uh, okay, so next one is POD. POD, as I said, POD. I just love POD. POD is probably one of my favorite. With this physical product one, I will only, as you may as may know drop shipping is just something that is like one of the most uh, viral concepts but drop shipping is such a headache if uh, uh, you know everything is not on point so i try to find suppliers uh, who are available where i want to sell just for example if i'm selling in usa i will try to find suppliers in usa i don't want uh, my customers to wait for a very long time and i just like working with people from the same uh, location where I, my customers belong so I can basically get faster shipping time and uh, we have to compete with uh, Amazon stuff in the sense that at least the customers can get the product uh, in a reasonable amount of time so uh, let's just go to the next one all right so it's getting a little bit you know just okay let's just go to the next one uh, on YouTube, YouTube is not at all doing good. I don't, I haven't, you know, this particular YouTube channel is not monetized yet, so I'm not making any revenue. But I have created three videos on my other YouTube channels, and I'm not uh, making any from there because YouTube is not something that I do very actively. I will be active on this channel after this series because I will try to upload almost daily. It's a daily income report, so. I hope that will get us more subscribers and views and in future this channel can get monetized and uh, just uh, before we move forward if you guys want to start something for free online youtube is probably one of the best places to start because it's fairly easy and you don't have to do a whole lot of work and i'll be sharing how you can start with blogging also in a much uh, you know uh, comfortable way because blogging is a little bit uh, time taking when it comes to ranking and uh, getting customers but on youtube you can do it a little bit faster so all right so let's just go to the next one freelance work this is one of my favorite and as you can see the highest revenue is from freelance work i got three clients today 
and uh, I get clients on very you know regular basis because I already have some people who order regularly when, uh, and the services I provide are three kinds of services keyword research or topic research you can say I don't necessarily do only keyword research but I do research full fledged research on topics and uh, whatever their demand is sometimes I find them big cluster keyword clusters and big places where they can get multiple topics to write about and uh, then I sometimes they ask for data and stuff and I try to do my research very thoroughly and, uh, it's it's a good place to make regular revenue if you are good at research and if you like researching because it's a time taking process too but uh, i will be sharing how i do my research today is just uh, the things that i do and i will be sharing my whole process of all all of these things in the future so let's just go to the next one for affiliate i have written one article one affiliate article now if you guys don't know about affiliate articles affiliate articles are in very simple terms are articles which are targeted towards an affiliate product they are about solving a problem so as i told you guys about this news website right so my plan is to position it in the space of where people can rely on it and they find the information entertaining enough to follow the blog and uh, if i can get it then I can basically write the affiliate articles and get some good revenue out of it because of the amount of traffic they pull. With that being said, we have to do a disclosure. The every affiliate article, just just an extra information. If you guys want to start with affiliate article writing process, just make sure that you always always write on the top that it's an affiliate article and your website is not directly you know basically promoting this product without this disclosure you have to disclose this it's a legal thing and uh, legal disclosure have to be there let's just go to the next one so yeah it's all done let's just talk about the expenses i do fv ads to be specific and uh, i sometimes i do google ads also but for this uh, for today i haven't ran any google ads because google ads are very expensive i was running some google ads for my pod products but uh, they did not got any results i hope i can find somebody who is an expert in google ads and the, the person can basically tell me how to do them properly because i don't know how people are making sales out of them so it is what it is but uh, i will try to get some sales out of them and share my results with you guys for expenses as you can see facebook ads facebook ads they are mostly they are engagement ads just let me just uh okay i will just write it like this as uh, so i can just bit more information here engagement ads i hope you guys already know what engagement ads are because engagement ads are not a new concept but uh, just uh, somebody who is new to facebook ads engagement ads are ads where you get likes and shares and uh, they are very you know cost if cost effective when it comes to traffic and uh, as far as the sales goes I'm only trying to get my content viral for my news website and it's a fact so uh, just so you guys can know when I say news websites it's not necessarily news in the sense of that I just use you know data from big news websites and just take it never do that because that will cause a lot of issues it is more of a website where trending stuff is discussed uh, in uh, you know in the more opinionated form and uh, yeah i will share may, maybe the better thing to do is i will share with you guys what what kind of content i upload there and uh, that will be better so for expenses it's facebook ads so this is the total here this is the total of these 180 dollars 0.33 and 15 dollars was the expense and it's all good i think uh, it is not necessarily anything amazing but I hope in future I can increase my revenue and uh, yeah so that's all there is to it for the, the daily income report I will be sharing a lot of stuff from all these all these topics and uh, then once my website is on a good level I will be sharing my website 
but for now as the information i have given it's a simple news website which is very common many people make news websites and uh, get good amount of traffic but uh, it's a long term thing or any blog is a long term thing blogging is not uh, you know not a quick way to make make any kind of income so try to go with youtube if you want uh, fairly you know easy path but uh, just make sure that you know your niche and currently as you can see i am not no expert on youtube you can just see this uh, zero does not uh, show good results here so anyways uh, on youtube i will try to grow a little bit more and get some consistent uh, revenue out of that too just consistent income out of that and uh, yeah so right now i got seven six sources total six six income sources and i will be adding some more and sharing with you guys so that's all for this one thanks for watching thank you